Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology. And today in this video tutorial, I will show you guys how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a powerful home file server using Samba. Whether you want to share your files between Windows, Linux, or Mac OS devices, this setup will let you store and access your data over your local network. So at first you need to insert the micro SD card to your computer. So after insert micro SD card to your computer, simply open your browser, go to raspberrypi.com. Click on software over here. After go to that raspberrypi.com, click on software. Now here you just need to install first Raspberry Pi Imager. For that you just need to click on download for Windows. So I have already downloaded and installed on my computer. So as you can see here it is. Okay, after that click on see all download options. And from here scroll down a little bit. Here you will get a 32 bit operating system for Raspberry Pi and here you will get 60, 64 bit. So in my case I am using this one which is Raspberry Pi 64 bit Debian version 12 bookworm. Okay, so after that simply open your Raspberry Pi application. Click on choose device. Here I just need to select your Raspberry Pi version, in my case it is 4 and click on choose OS. After that click on use custom and select your Raspberry Pi IMG file after extract. So after download the Raspberry Pi image on your computer you just need to extract. After that you will get that IMG file. So simply select that and after that click on choose storage. Here I will use my micro SD card. After that click on next, then click on yes, sorry, click on next, here you just need to click on edit settings. As you can see I have set the host name is Raspberry Pi, you have to do the same and I have set my username which is technology and password is 123 and I have already configured the wireless LAN over here and you have to select the time zone over here, now go to services. Under services you will get enable SSH. So make sure that you have selected that option which is use password authentication. Now click on options. After that click on these three check these three button. Click on save. Now click on yes. And after that as you can see it is started. You have to wait for a few minutes. After make bootable micro SD card. You just need to insert that micro SD card to your Raspberry Pi. After that connect the power cable and LAN cable to your Raspberry Pi. So after turn on your Raspberry Pi, what you have to do? I will connect that Raspberry Pi through CMD. For that I need IP address of that Raspberry Pi. So I will open my browser, go to my router page and if you click on wireless or WAD tab, okay, you will get your Raspberry Pi IP address over there. So in my case, my Raspberry Pi IP address is 192.168.0.22. Simply copy that IP address and after that simply open CMD. For that go to your start window and type CMD. Open command prompt and after that here you just need to type the command is called SSH space your username which is uh, in my case technology. So you have to put your username which you have uh, created during installation and after that you have to put your IP address over here your Raspberry Pi IP address and in my case it is 22 as you can see so now I'll press enter now it is showing like finger paint I will type over here yes now press enter once again and now I'll put my password which I have set during installation in my case it is 123 so I'll press enter so as you can see I have successfully connected uh, to the to that Raspberry Pi so now what I have to do is first I have to update and upgrade Rasp my Raspberry Pi. For that I have to type over here sudo apt update sudo apt space upgrade space minus y. All the command I'll, I have already mentioned on my uh, website. So link I will provide to my video description. Okay. So simply you need to press enter. After update and upgrade done, next we need to install Samba. So Samba is an open source software that enables you to uh, file and printer sharing between 
Windows, Linux, or Unix OS. Okay, so basically we, we have to install uh, Samba for that. So what I'll do is I'll type the command is called sudo apt, sudo space apt, space install, space Samba. And after that, press enter. Now press Y and enter. So after done, now you just need to identify and mount your external storage like USB, SSD or hard drive, whatever you have inserted on your Raspberry Pi. So after insert uh, your external storage, simply type over here LS BLK, then space minus O, then name in caps. So don't worry about well, the command I will provide to my video description, then FS type comma UUID then comma then mount point after that press enter now it will show you your external drive as a SDA1 or SDB1 you have to identify that one and after that what you have to do you just need to create one mount point so for that you just need to type sudo sorry in small sudo mkdir means make directory space slash storage okay after that press enter once it will done now you just need to mount it on your uh, external drive for that you just need to type sudo mount space dev space the the drive name which is sda1 simply type over here sda1 and after that space slash storage okay after that you just need to press enter now after done you just need to uh, if you want to make it uh, make this uh, mount permanently then uh, follow this step simply type sudo nano space etc space fs tab okay now press enter now here you just need to add one line so first i will close this window so simply you need to copy this uuid from here simply copy this one okay after that type that command once again and simply add one line which is uh, uuid equals to that uuid put over here and after that you just need to uh, space then storage then ntfs then auto then read and write user execution space zero zero okay after done you just need to press ctrl and o together so you can easily copy this command from my uh, website okay so link i will provide to my video description simply you need to replace that uuid okay after that press ctrl o to save and exit so first press Ctrl plus O, then press enter, then press Ctrl plus X. Now I will see that uh, FSTAF file. So the command will be cat space etc space FSTAF. So now as you can see it is successfully added on my FSTAF config file. Okay. So now what you have to do? You just need to configure the SMB uh, Samba share. For that, you just need to type the command is called sudo space nano space etc space Samba space SMB dot conf. Okay. After that, press enter. Now you just need to go to the end by pressing down arrow key. Now you just need to copy this line from my video description. Copy and after that paste on the bottom. Okay. After done, you just need to press Ctrl O once again to write out and press enter. Now press Ctrl X. So my default user is technology. So I'll create separate user for this uh, Shamba. So if you want to use your uh, default user, you can use it. 
or else you can use a different user for that simply i i have to create one user then the command will be sudo add user then your username so i will set here pi username will be pi p i and press enter sorry sudo add user without any space now here here is showing like new password so i'll set here one two three retype password one two three full name i will not put anything over here i'll just press enter yes all the information is correct so i'll press y then enter after done i will type the command is called uh, sudo smb pass wd space minus a then username so this command will help you to add the user to the samba database after that press enter after that put your smb password in my case i will set here one two three then password smb password once again one two three and press enter now i'll restart the samba once again so i'll type sudo space system ctl restart smbd okay now press enter so now what i'll do is i have to edit uh, the smb uh, config file for that i have to type sudo nano space slash etc slash uh, samba then slash smb dot conf after that press enter go to that last line here i will add one more line which is valid user valid users equals to uh pi and after that press control plus o together control and o and press enter control and x now i'll we'll restart the smbd service so i'll type over here sudo a space system ctl space restart space smbd so now i'll try to access that uh, samba file sharing server from my windows machine for that i have to go to my start menu and type slash slash then ip address of that uh, raspberry pi machine in my case it is 192.168.0.22 uh, then slash then press enter now it is showing like username and password so i'll type over here pi which i have created already and password is one two three now i'll click on ok let's see it is working or not so as you can see it is working perfectly so now i will add that uh, samba file sharing server and map that drive to my my computer so i'll click on three dot button here map network drive and type over here slash slash 182.168.22 then my share click on browse and here it is as you can see now click on ok now click on finish now as you can see the drive is showing over here which is 428 gb which is my uh, ssd external ssd it is showing over here so before ending this video i would like to big thanks to all my channel members a special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership your support truly means a lot so if you want to support the channel too then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this thanks again for watching and as always i will see you on the next one